I will commit suicide in a couple of days. As I'm chatting with you now, no house rents, no school fees, no money for feeding, and my landlord is about to eject me in a couple of days. Brother Chibo, this is my plight. I am a pastor, and I have so many pastor friends that are passing through the same thing. This is my story. My good friends, these are heartbreaking lamentations sent to me by various pastors in different occasions. And I'm using this brief message to sound a note of warning to different daddy GOs to prevent impending suicide. I will not miss what in saying this. Many pastors are in pains. Many pastors are in a hopeless triangle. Why? That is a very big question, a disturbing question. Why? They were persuaded to walk in God's vineyard that God will reward them. He who walk in God's vineyard, God will walk in his life. And many of them are doing nothing, only the pastor's job. Now, we have economic crunch. We have political upheavals. Everything is turning upside down. Yet, these pastors do not have access to many daddy GOs. Very, very worrisome. Many of them are homeless. Many of them, their children have been thrown out of school because of school fees. No hospital bill. No money for feeding. Even one miserable square meal they cannot afford. But these pastors have access to people's offering, even to the poorest of the poor. And they send this money to the DGO, to the church authorities. Yet, the pastors do not have access to the DGOs. A very big error. When this report came to me, I asked questions. So you collect offering and you have different services. So you cannot reach your daddy GO on phone call. They said no. That the church hierarchies were structured in such a way that the people at the lowest level may not have access to the people in the highest level. And I asked them, and I asked them, what are the hierarchies? Now listen very well. Most of the big churches we see today, I'm saying this so that we should stop bringing mockery to the body of Christ. Let there be no hypocrisy. Let's help ourselves. Many people tell lies today because they have been denied of something they are entitled to. Many are suffering today, committing all kinds of evil. Many cannot oppose evil because they are hungry and they compromise their faith. What are we talking about here? The hierarchy of so many big churches we see today, especially Pentecostal churches, because most reverend fathers, most people in Anglican church, Orthodox churches, they have access to the primate, they have access to Pope, they have access to their bishops, archbishops, the cardinals. But in this case, I know the people I assist with the little I have to the glory of God. In times of house rent and the things that the church authority, where they take their remittances because they pay money back to the church, especially three major programs in a week. Some they have Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some Sunday, Tuesday, and the Thursday. They call it remittances. Every Monday, they are pushing money to the headquarters. Yet, these pastors do not have access. Now, look at the structure. Look at the hierarchies of the church. They have GO, that's general overseer. They have AGO, assistant general overseer. They have MORO, mega regional overseer. They have SRO, senior regional overseer. They have AROO, assistant regional overseer. They have zonal pastors. They have branch pastors. They have assistant branch pastors. They have house fellowship leaders. They have group leaders. They have groups and they have the entire congregation. How can we have this set of leaders? So the people that are serving as branch pastors, regional pastors, house fellowship leaders, when they have problems, the GO has access to the fund they collect. The GO has access to the offering they collect from the poorest of the poor. But these people that collect this offering and they remit to the headquarters do not have the phone number or access to communicate with that GO. It's a spiritual virus. I must be frank. It's unheard of. I want to give a piece of advice to every GO. I don't know, no matter how you feel or what you call yourself, all of us are servants and we have only one master. If you have one million pastors working in your church, you are supposed to have access to all of them. Because all of them cannot have problems at the same time. You are supposed, no matter how busy you are, if you can give audience to the politicians, to rich people, you are supposed to give audience to the poorest of the poor. 
let alone the people that collect offering from them. They are in the middle of that communication. I know too well that there are men and women who are lazy and they are hiding in God's vineyard in the name that they are doing God's work. I have advised most of them, go and find something doing. You can't just preach and stay the whole day. You are a parasite as far as this economy is concerned. Go and find something doing. But then as much as we advise them to do that, the church authorities should do the needful. Because even the hours they work in the church, they are supposed to make ends meet. I bring this video to give voice to the voiceless and the hope to the hopeless. Please share this video. Let us make a hay while the sun shines. A stitch in time saves nine. My name is Brother Paul Chibo. May God bless you as we apply this. Do not harden your heart as you hear this message. Roads of labor, roads of joy, the best for